Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome from all the way from the prayer mountain as we are celebrating the Feast of Trumpets from the prayer mountain, which is also the first day of the fasting program. Precious saints, I encourage you to partake of this fast more than any fast that we've ever done before. It goes for 10 days. You can participate at whatever level is fit. There, are, if, if you click on the program, you'll see the many options that are there available for you. But I encourage you, as we are particularly praying and preparing for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, in particular, the snatching away of His bride at this particular time, at this pivotal time in history. We're seeing all the signs, precious saints. No one knows the day or the hour. We understand that, but we understand the season. We can see what is taking place right now. In actual fact, the Bible encourages us. The scriptures said those who are awake will be watching to see the day approaching. What does the scripture say? According to Luke 21 verse 28, it says, Now when these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws near. And what about 1 Thessalonians 5.4? It says, But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that the day should not overtake you as a thief. And according to Hebrews 10.25, Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as in the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much more as you see the day approaching. Precious saints, that is why I continue to upload here. That is why I continue to get you to encourage you to fast, not only for your breakthroughs. Let's look past the breakthroughs in this particular hour. We are looking for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The, the, the season is here. The signs are here, precious saints. You know, there is a convergence of biblical signs and timelines that are indicating that the day is very near to the snatching of the bride of Christ. So it is up to you to participate. It's up to you to get into the program because the program is so full. It is so full with each day. Even the, even the introduction is full in itself. It's a whole teaching. And each day is a whole teaching in itself. I encourage you, as we are writing down our prayer list and placing them in the Bible, let the main one be the salvation of your families. Let the main one be the salvation of our loved ones, of our friends, of our community, of those that are going to be left behind. Because that is what I'm doing in this hour. I am focusing on every family salvation. I am focusing on all of my extended family salvation. I am praying for those that are going to be left behind, precious saints, because that day is going to come like a thief. That day is just going to snatch. It's in the twinkle of the eye. It's at the sound of the last trumpet, which is symbolic to the last trumpet sound during these four feast days, precious saints. So I encourage you to press in like never ever before. There are signs. There is a convergence of signs that are taking place right now. So in order to escape the horror of this tribulation period, which I'm constantly warning everyone about, one must be in a saving relationship with Jesus Christ. We need to pray ourselves that we are ready for that snatching and not only that but our families will be also precious saints there's so many things going on now all these things are going to pave way to the third temple that will be built in that period of time right up to the three and a half years into the seven year tribulation where the antichrist will take that seat and demand to be worshipped so that you worship Satan himself, precious saints. We are so close to that coming and that snatching away. I encourage you as I am here, mainly not praying just for your breakthrough. I am praying for your family salvation. I'm praying for each person that follows this ministry, that is partaking of this fast, that you would be ready for that day of snatching, that all of our extended families would be ready. And if not, they would come to know the truth after. They would come to know what 
what they had missed, what we were trying to tell them. And the hour is so near, precious saints. I encourage you to press into this prayer and fasting. Rely on the prayer and fasting more than watching me because I don't want to be famous. I want you to be taken into the rapture that is about to happen anytime, precious saints. It could happen today. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen in several months. Whenever it's happening, it is happening soon. Let me tell you, I have never felt an urgency in the spirit of what the Lord is showing me that I am today. And precious saints, you need to be ready. You need to be rapture ready at all times. So I encourage you to press in. So Lord, I pray for each person that is participating. Give them the grace to press in. Give them the grace to fast. Give them the grace to watch and follow the program. Give them the grace to pray for their lost loved ones also. Lord, I pray that you would bless each person that participates in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we are preparing for the snatching away of the bride in Jesus' name. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance, subscribe now because we don't know how long we're going to be here, precious saints. Follow us on Facebook. Go to our uh, uh, Instagram also. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. 